Words to know. Yellow, orange, against, wandered, below, fall, season, shore, now, shouted. Read to find out why is fall a fun season. A fun season. Let's play catch, said Liv. Now it's time to rake the leaves, said Dad. Dad and Liv raked. There were red leaves, yellow leaves, orange leaves. Dad learned his rake against a tree. Dad leaned his rake against a tree. Is it time for catch? wondered Liv. Then Dad started to run. He jumped up and landed in a big pile of leaves. Jump in, Liv! Dad shouted. Liv jumped as high as she could. Look out below! She, saw, she shouted. Fall is a fun season, said Dad. It sure is, said Liv. Now that we read this story, look at the highlighted words that are in yellow. Do you, can you use, um, can you find the meaning of those words in the story? Like wondered. Is it time for catch, wondered Liv. Right, she was wondering, is she going to play catch? But what did she do? What kind of prediction did you do? Oh, she's going to jump in into the pile of leaves like her dad. So it wasn't time for catch. It was time to jump into the pile of leaves. What can you tell the meaning of the words yellow and orange? Yeah, those are colors. They're describing the leaves, right? You look at the word leaves and we also have the color red that kind of like tells you like, oh, yellow and orange are colors. What does against mean? Dad leaned his rake against a tree. Not only we have a picture here of the rake against the tree, but against means to like maybe lean, right? Like we have the word leaned his rake, right? Where you lean it on, on a tree. Right, so can you try for these other words here? Below, fall, shore, and season on your own. Can we, uh, so we're supposed to read to find out why is fall a fun season? Right? They fall, are they raking and jumping into a pile of leaves? That's one of the reasons it's fun in the story. This week, we are going to retell stories what happened first, next, then, and last. It is important to retell stories in order as it happened. Because it doesn't make sense to tell a story what happened in the middle, at the end, and then tell the beginning. No, we will get very confused and lost what happened, right? This is why we tell things in order. Every time you watch a TV show, right, they tell in sequence order what happened first, next, then, and last. Think about your favorite shows when you watch them. Or think about when someone tells you a story or next time you read a book. It's always in order. So let's see what happened first in the story. What did she say she want? Uh, what happened first? We got the two characters. Who are the two characters we got to say? Liv and Dad, right? So instead of just writing down who are the characters, we're going to write down what they wanted to do. What did Liv wanted to do? Liv wanted to play catch, right? Because she was wondering, is it time for catch? And what did Dad do? Dad was raking the leaves, right, before he leaned it against the tree. So that's what we're going to write in the first. Here is Liv wanted to play catch, right? I did not just say, oh, the two characters in the story is Liv and Dad. No, we're going to write more about that, okay? 
Liv is not just the only character, it's also dad. So this is why we added the second sentence. Dad and Liv rake leaves. That's what happened in the beginning. For each part of the um, first, next, then, and last, we should write at least two sentences. So from now on, instead of writing six sentences to summarize, we're going to write eight sentences to summarize a story. Then now, what happened next after Liv wants to... Oops, it's supposed to be Liv wants to play catch. Dad and Liv rake leaves. What happened next? Let's look back in the story. What happened after Dad raked the leaves? Yeah, he leaned the rake against the tree. So let's write that down. Dad leans his rake against the tree. What else happened next? Right? Liv wants to play catch. And then what does she say? Is it time for catch now? Right? Like, is it time for catch? Because she's, uh, she sees Dad put the rake against the tree. So she wonders. So let's write that down. So I wrote, Liv wonders if it is time for catch. And then, what happened then? What happened after? Dad started to run, right? And what else? He jumped into a big pile of leaves. So that's two sentences that we're going to write for then. And this is what I wrote. Dad starts to run. He jumps into a pile of leaves. And last, what happened at the end? Let's look back in the story. So we were up to here. Dad shouted to jump in. Let's, what is the most important two sentences that we can make at the end? Liv jumped in, right? Liv jumps into the leaves too. And what else is important to say? What can we uh, think about how does uh, Liv and Dad feel at the end of the story. Yeah, they were having fun. Liv and Dad had fun. And let's write that down. And here it is. Liv jumps into the leaves too. Liv and Dad have fun. Excuse my handwriting. This is me writing with the mouse. So this week we are going to summarize stories and we are going to write eight sentences to summarize our stories. We're going to write what happened in the beginning. And I do not want to see just as a, a sentence live in that for the characters. I want you to describe me more. What happened? What, hap uh, what happened in the beginning by telling me the character names. Okay? Then you're going to tell me what happened next, then, and last. And you notice that I don't use numbers on the side. We don't need to number our sentences, right? Because when we read stories or when we read people summarizing or reviews, there is no numbers for each sentence. We only number them when if we're at answering a question and they're numbered. But otherwise, if we're writing a paragraph or a summary, we do not need to number our sentences. So enjoy uh, this week with summary. And practice summarizing um, other stories that you have read or even TV shows you have watched. You don't have to write it down, but at least practice retelling out loud to your friends and family. But like this, uh, for our, our other stories for our assignments this week, you are going to write them down. Bye.